when I hear the term wounded seeker, um, I think about how for much of our modern society has become so tired and wounded by much of religious life and all of its cheap answers that it's offered that um, even rejecting it feels like too much energy. Um, I think of Chesterton who said, um, in our society, in the modern world, even atheism is too theological for us. And I think that's maybe one of the elements going on in, in our society as I talk to students is that there can just be a sense of tiredness with both obviously the decay of our world and the chaos of our political systems, but also that it feels like that there is almost nothing on offer from our religious uh, traditions, that there is a sense of on Sundays, all you get is just old, tired um, rituals that mean nothing. And if anything, they mean worse than nothing, that they, they are places where um, the church is, is a place that is just kind of clutching to its pearls of a sense of defensiveness and out of that defensiveness needs to attack people that the church becomes a place known for its antagonism towards, um, homosexual people or anybody in the LGBT community. Um, and it's also kind of a place that has, um, ruined its own reputation that the church has often been at the forefront of cheerleaders for the militarism in our society. So that sense of the church having ruined its um, riches, it ruined its legacy of grace, can, I think, be seen as one of the ways in which um, the church has wounded people, um, and it has now become um, worse than no answer. It's, it's seen as certainly not the answer. It's, it's part of the problem. So when I think of, of the wounding, that's what comes to mind is, is both a society in general, but especially a church that is supposed to be a place of grace and, um, teaching of Christ's unconditional love has become a place, um, that is more frightening and closed off. Um, if not just dead. Um, but the sense of seeking, I, th I see among many people who um, use the kind of um, generic but still sincere phrase that people are spiritual but not religious, um, that people are open to and want some sort of um, habits, some message, some centering in themselves that... Um, can answer the chaos and anxiety and violence of our world. And so in that spiritual but not religious search, I see, you know, a sense of a wounded seeker. Um, and in many ways, I've been one of those too. And so we're all seeking in a way. Um, but the question is, where do we look and how do we look?